So this is a tiger salamander, Abystema tigrinum, and it's a species of mole salamander. They're found southern Connecticut, kind of through the southeastern United States and west to the Rocky Mountains. Um, so they're pretty widespread, but they're not found west of the Rocky Mountains, and they're not found um, as high up as into the Appalachian Mountains. So they, they're found at the base, but not at the top of the Appalachian Mountains. Um, and as a mole salamander, they spend uh, most of their time in upland, whoop, <laughs> upland burrows, um, but then in the springtime when the warm rains come, they will emerge to uh, gather together and mate in spring pools and in other bodies of water puddles and shallow streams. The, um, their name comes, well, the, from a lot of different kind of ideas. One, of course, is the striping on their body, which could resemble the stripes of a tiger, though not orange. Um, but also because they are the largest of the mole salamanders in the world, um, they can reach lengths of up to 16 inches. And so um, being the largest, that might be one of the reasons why they are associated with tigers. And they also have a voracious appetite. Um, another theory as to why they may be called tiger salamanders. So you can see they have quite a wide mouth and will eat readily anything that fits into it. Um, earthworms, slugs, uh, smaller salamander species, frogs, um, a variety of insects, crickets, beetles. Um, they will even, if they encounter them, eat small mammals, um, baby mice, hatchling birds, if they would fall, you know, fell out of the nest, would be fair game. Um, so they, they are quite, they have quite an appetite and are, are very voracious hunters. This particular specimen is a nice example of what is kind of known as a barred tiger salamander um, with the subspecies um, Mavordium. And they have a lot of different um, kind of genotypes that you can see in the wild. Some of them are actually very olive green. Um, some of them don't really look like they have bars at all. Um, so there are a lot of different colors that you can see, but this is a very nice example of a barred tiger salamander.